Welcome to the demonstration with Big Data Transformations. In this demonstration, we are going to create a metadata file for a data file with fixed length fields. This demo covers creating metadata files that contain the definitions of data sources or targets, such as flat files, database tables, and pipes. These definitions include format and field information. The metadata that we create can be used for defining multiple data sources and targets used in job scripts. In IRI's Workbench development environment, there is a wizard that aids in creating metadata or data definition files. These files are also known as DDFs. We will create the metadata file for the data file salesin.fixed, located in the project metademo. Double click on the file. The file then displays in the center section of Workbench. To begin, in the menu bar, click on one of the icons for creating a job. For Field Shield, click on the arrow next to the shield. For Cosort, click on the arrow next to the stopwatch. Or, click on the arrow next to the IRI icon, where the Discover Metadata Wizard runs independent of any job scripts. The steps are the same for all. Select Discover Metadata. This wizard will attempt to discover the field definition for the file salesin.fixed and place the definitions in a DDF file called salesinfixed.ddf. Workbench will add the DDF. Click Next. This brings us to the data source identification screen. Browse for the file that is to be defined and double click on that file. Yes, to allow the data to be scanned. The data source identification screen has fixed for the file format. Click Next to accept. We are now at the file previewer and metadata editor. The top half of this screen is the previewer and displays a few lines of the data file. The bottom half is for the field definitions. Above the lines of data is a ruler for the columns of the records. Row gives the number of each row of data. Just below the ruler are sliders that are used to define the position and size of the fields in a record. The left slider should be positioned at the beginning of a field and the right slider should be positioned at the end of a field. Use the mouse to drag the sliders to the desired positions. As you move the mouse crosshairs over the byte elements in the data, notice the display box below the hex checkbox has numbers that change. These are the hex values that represent the byte that the crosshair is over. Click on the hex checkbox. Now, for each row, the file previewer shows the ASCII bytes on a line with the hex representation for each byte on the line below. Click the box again to restore the normal display. For the first field of our file, the sliders do not need to be moved. The first slider is just before position 1, the second slider is just before position 2. The area between the sliders is highlighted. Therefore, the first field has a column position of 1 and has a size of 1. Now place the mouse between the sliders or in the highlighted area. Right click. Select Add Field. This adds the definition for the highlighted field to the metadata editor. Name becomes the word field, followed by a number. Type defaults to ASCII. Position is the column number immediately following the left slider. And size is the number of columns between the left and right sliders. Position, precision will default to zero. Click on the name for the first field. Type in store num for the name. We will accept the values for the rest of the columns in the editor. Click to the right of the currently defined field or click on the column that begins the next field. Now drag the sliders so that they surround the next field. Right click, select add field. Notice that the position and size reflect what the highlighted columns show. Click on the name for this field and type in D 
department num. I will continue adding fields for the rest of the records in the same way. Add field item num. Add field description. Add field sale amount. Add field trans action date. To change the type for sale amount to numeric, click on ASCII in the type column for that field. This displays the data type screen. COSORT has so many data types that they have been put into categories. Expand common types. Double click on numeric. The type for sale amount has now been changed to numeric. Precision is the number of digits to the right of the decimal point. Sale amount has two digits to the right of the decimal point. To change the precision from 0 to 2, click on the 0 in the precision column that is associated with sale amount. You can type in the 2 or use the arrows to scroll to the desired number. Notice the boxes at the end of each record. They represent the non-printable line feed character that terminates each record in this file. Place the mouse crosshairs over one of these boxes. The hex display box has a 0D, which is the hex value for a line feed. Click Finish. The DDF or metadata file that we just created is displayed using the data definition file form editor. Here we have the option to edit the file that was just created. It may be that the data file being used has changed or a type for one of the fields needs to be changed. In the tree, click on the field sale amount. We have found out that this field will now have a 7 instead of a 6. Change the 6 to a 7. Look at the next field, transaction date. Notice that the position for this field is 30. Click on reposition fields. The file salesin.fixed has one space between each field. Change the 0 to a 1 and click OK. Now the field transaction date has a position of 31. Click on sale amount again. In the DDF details section, scroll down. The advanced numerical attributes are revealed. Click on the arrow for the sign control drop-down. Select leading. This means that there will be a leading negative or positive sign with the value for the field sale amount. Now that we have this DDF file, it can be used in any job script that uses data where these definitions can apply. This concludes this demo where we use the IRI Workbench Metadata Discovery Wizard to create a metadata or DDF file which can be used to define the fixed field input or output in job scripts. Thank you for watching Data Transformation, creating a metadata file for a data file with fixed length fields. For more information, you can visit us on the web at www.iri.com.